Today is 50 years since one of the worst sports disasters in U.S. history. It was on this day in 1970 when a plane crash killed most of Marshall University's football team. News Nation's Felicia Bolton is in the newsroom with more on how victims were remembered today. Felicia? Aaron, every year a ceremony is held on Marshall campus, making and marking rather the tragedy. And this year, it took place in a new way. Players, coaches, and community members who died in the crash each received their own banner on campus. This is in addition to the turning off of the fountain ceremony that takes place annually. In 1970, the Marshall football team was traveling back from East Carolina University when they, their charge jet crashed into a hillside. All 75 people on board were killed. During today's ceremony, the crowd chanted, we are Marshall, while remembering the lives lost 50 years ago today. I didn't understand what happened. And when I got here and I got a chance to play, I understood a lot better. I said goodbye to him, and he flew off. But he flew off happy, and he flew off following a passion to support the university and the football program. People at today's ceremony also placed white roses near the fountain for each person lost in that crash. They lit candles as well, and they placed it around the fountain's water basin. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, this year's ceremony was invitation only for football players from East Carolina who played in the 1970 game against Marshall University were at today's service.